Okay, now we're going to start section two, which is called uh, Conduct of Vessels Inside of One Another. Uh, it's generally known as the steering and sailing rules. We're going to start out with sailing. So this uh, presentation is actually going to be fairly short, but I wanted to keep it separate from anything else so that you could quickly go back and refer to it and you don't have to go all the way through to, to listen to something else. Okay. When we've got sailing vessels uh, where risk of collision exists, there are only three situations that we would possibly be dealing with to decide who has the right of way over the other vessel. So the three situations are, one, the first one is wind is on opposite sides, or the wind is on the same side, or you have the wind on your port side and you see a vessel to windward. So what do I mean by uh, the sides here? I'm talking about which side the wind is coming from. And the only way to tell that is by looking at the mainsail or the sails on these vessels, because we can't see the wind, the air is clear. We don't know which way the wind is blowing, uh, but we can see the sails. And so all of these decisions are based off what you see. It's always what you see, not what you think might be going on. It's what you see. So you see a mainsail, which side is it on? And that's gonna tell you about the wind. So for instance, uh, on the port side of the, or the left side of the slide here, uh, we have a sailboat, we see two sails on it. Both sails are tending off to the starboard side of the boat. By definition, that means the wind is coming from the port side. If the sails are getting blown off to starboard, the wind must be pushing them from the other side, pushing them over there. So by definition, the wind is coming from the port side. If the sails are tending off to starboard, uh, like they are, I mean, to port, as they are on the right side of the slide, we see the mainsail, it's tending off to the port side. By definition, the wind is coming from the starboard side. Even though in this diagram, the wind might be coming from directly astern. We can't see that. We really don't know. And the wind could be changing either way. We have to go by what we can visually see and make a decision on. And we see the sail. We see the mainsail. The mainsail is tending off to port. By definition, the wind is coming from starboard. And so that's how we decide which situation we're in. Let's take the first a look at the first. Oh, and before we go on. Uh, uh, vessels with square sails, like square riggers, big sailing ships, old timey sailing ships. Uh, the the mass twists so that, but the sails will still be blown in one direction. And so we look at see the wind is coming from the other side, the other direction from which the sails are tending. And so, like in this case, the sails are twisted and turned towards starboard so that they can catch the wind from port. And that's what we would say the wind is coming from port. Okay, so let's take a, take a look at the first situation when the wind is on opposite sides of the two sailboats. So here we have two boats are approaching each other. We look at the sails, we see one sail is tending off to starboard, one sail is tending off to port. So that tells us which side the wind is coming from. So when the wind is on opposite sides, it's coming from the port side of one vessel, starboard side of another vessel, when wind is on opposite sides, the one with the wind on its port side keeps out of the way. When the wind is on opposite sides, the one with the wind on its port side keeps out of the way of the other vessel. So in this case, the uh, sailboat on the left side of the slide has the wind coming across its port. So it's going to keep out of the way of the other vessel with the wind on its starboard side. Next situation is when the wind is on the same side of both vessels. So here we have two sailboats. The sails are tending off uh, to starboard on both cases, which means the wind is coming off the port on both of them. So it's coming on the same side of both vessels. When the wind is on the same side, the vessel to windward keeps out of the way of the other. So that would be the, the vessel higher up on the slide on this one. It is to windward, closer to the wind, it is upwind of the other vessel, so it keeps out of the way of the other. Reasoning for this is, if it has nice, good, clean wind, then it has most of the maneuverability. 
the one vessel downwind of it might have a wind shadow that's getting blocked or it might have a wind burble as the wind is swirling around the other sail um, any case, either case something might be happening that takes away some of its maneuverability and so we need to give it a little bit of advantage so the one to windward with all the maneuverability keeps out of the way once again we have wind on the same side last slide it was coming across the port side of both vessels now it's coming across the starboard side but it's coming across the starboard side of both vessels so the wind is on the same side once again, the one to windward keeps out of the way of the other. Last situation is you have the wind on your port side. You see a vessel to windward, but you can't tell because of the silhouette of the sail or the angle. You cannot tell what side it's tending on. In that case, you uh, keep out of the way. You just assume that you are going to have to uh you're going to be on opposite sides and you just just keep out of the way of uh, the other vessel so those are the three situations so let's practice it a little bit make sure we understand what situation are we dealing with here we look at the sails the wind is on opposite sides of these vessels correct so it's coming across the port side of vessel a it's coming across the starboard side of vessel B. And we can tell that by looking at the sails. So wind is on the opposite sides. So who keeps out of the way? Vessel A keeps out of the way because it has the wind on its port side. Okay, what situation are we dealing with here? Look at the sails. Once again, Wind is on opposite sides. This time it's coming across the starboard side of vessel A and the port side of vessel B. So in this case, who keeps out of the way? Vessel B, because vessel B has the wind on its port side. What situation are we dealing with here? Yep, now we've got the wind on the same side. So when the wind is on the same side, who keeps out of the way? The one to windward, the one that's upwind. And who's upwind, closer to the wind? Oops, nope, vessel A is actually the one that is to windward. To change that. Put it right here the presentation so that we don't leave it incorrect. Same side keeps out of the way. Vessel A because A is to windward. There we go. What situation are we dealing with here? Wind is on opposite sides, so a little bit tricky with coming from different directions. But and the wind is coming across the port side of vessel A, and it's coming across the starboard side of vessel B. So when the wind is on the opposite sides, who keeps out of the way? The one with the wind on its port side. So A keeps out of the way because vessel A has the wind on its port side. What situation is this? Here we go. We cannot tell what side the wind is coming on vessel B. Um, so we uh, assume that we have to keep out of the way and that's gonna be us. Vessel A keeps out of the way because we cannot tell. All right, that is it um, for the situations and responsibilities between sailing vessels.